Now the next kind of bearing is reduced bearing. Let us come to the characteristic first. The system used by reduced bearing is that of a quadrant system. Earlier it was circular system. So what is a quadrant system? It means a circle is divided into four parts. Say this is first part, this is second part, this is third part and this is the fourth part. So we will call this part first quadrant, this part second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. No confusion. So this is a quadrant system that they follow. Now let us come to the value system. This is north direction, this is northern direction, this is south, this is east and this is west. So anything, any value, the reduced bearing of any line first has to be seen in which hemisphere it is. It is in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere. The first point is that. Second, we see in which quadrant it is. If it is in this quadrant, then we have to say the direction. It is moving towards east. So, it has to be towards east direction. Now, the we will talk about that in details later. Now, the value ranging in these quadrants can be not 360 degree. It has to be 0 to 90 degree. Earlier, it was 360 degree. So, here it is 90 degree. The third characteristic is the movement earlier it was clockwise. Here the movement can be clockwise or anticlockwise. Clockwise or anticlockwise depending on what? Depending on whichever line is closer. From north or south whichever is closer to the line. Now the fourth characteristic or say the fourth use of this kind of reduced bearing is found in surveyor's compass. So, to be clear, again, let me further divide the qu quadrant into directions. North, South, East, West. This is North, East. This is North, West. This is South, East. West and this is south east. This is first, this is second, third, and fourth. 